Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Debug. Now Debug's been created by a guy called Nick Shaw at FoolishIT.com and basically what it's going to do is allow you to get control back of your system. Now it doesn't claim to remove any malware but what it does is actually uh, removes all the startup items. So for instance all this stuff keeps popping up and starting and what it's going to do is close all this down on startup and reboot the system and then hopefully you can get your system back to some sort of uh, normality where you can then run scans to remove a lot of this stuff. So as you can see we've got pop-ups starting and uh, things starting up and doing random scans and uh, what debug is designed to do is close all this off okay. Now it won't terminate any windows processes or anything like that it's just going to terminate uh, all the startup items okay. Now once we finish all our scans we can then use the undo feature to put all the uh, startup items back but these will then be removed okay. So anything that you do need uh, i.e system files and stuff that may be needing to start up will be stopped but also you can undo those to get those restarted in once you've cleaned all your system. Now you can see here we have got a ton of stuff on here and let me just show you uh, the add and remove program section. This is laden full of stuff as well as you can see these are all on the system and they will keep popping up and start running okay which will grind the system to a halt. Now this stuff is worse than actual viruses this stuff really does slow the system up okay. So here we have our debug program now you can rename this to get it started if you've got viruses on here uh, you can name it explorer.exe or win, winlogon.exe and stuff like that um, but here we're going to be running this now and hopefully by running this it will close all these down and restart the system okay now it might take a bit of time to do uh, but it will close these all off and then hopefully as you can see here shut these down and reboot just going to close this off as you can see here it's closing all the windows down Just said OK to a couple of those. Let it reboot now. Okay, we've got one thing started up there as you can see here. So now you've got the message saying debug is active. Uh, don't forget to run debug undo uh, to put the stuff back. Okay, so I'm going to click OK here. Now one thing has started up here you can see. So I'm going to close this off. Now remember some of these will be very difficult to stop. But as you can see here, the system has got back to some sort of normality. So let's take a look down the bottom here. And as you can see, there's nothing running here, only one item. And this has given us some control back, okay? Now you may get the odd pop-up, um, but as you can see now, we've got a much more functional computer, which is going to allow us to start to remove some of this stuff, okay? Okay, so Debug's done a pretty good job at stopping stuff from starting up. As you can see here, there's not much in the startup area here. Um, now there may be some pop-ups from time to time they may just restart themselves this is what this type of junkware does okay it tries to lure you in to buying the product which is actually fake and no use to you whatsoever now let's remove some of this stuff now the way i'm going to go about doing it first is going to the uninstaller program okay now programs and features is where you want to start off you don't want to be running scans and removing stuff without trying to remove them manually yourself first here now I know there's a lot of stuff here so I won't bore you with going through this process I'll just show you roughly you want to go through here and remove these manually like that okay now that's very important because if you start to run scans with say uh, ADW cleaner and stuff like that what's going to happen is you can end up messing up the system so we're just going to remove them like this first okay as you can see that one's gone it does take a bit of time but you just sift through okay and then just uninstall a lot of this junk and you'll get the odd window that pops up that's pretty normal it's just trying to uh, lure you back in so we're just gonna leave that to uninstall Okay, so that's the uninstall part I can do. There's these three ones left. So let's see if we can remove these. We can't remove them at the moment because it says we have insufficient uh, permissions. So what I'm going to do here is check the C drive here. And we've got a couple of registry files here I can see. Let's have a check on these. 
Okay, now you can see why that started up again. It's because there's a, a registry key in here. Let's have a look here. Start up. Okay, so we can get rid of those now. Don't need those. We don't need that end either. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then also what I want to do is go into program files. Now you can see there's loads of garbage in here, but don't worry, we're going to take care of that in a second. Just want to look for that um, RegFixer Pro and see if we can remove this this way. Yeah, the uninstaller's not working. Okay, don't worry about that. We'll try the ADW cleaner. So what we're going to do here now is, before we do anything else, I'm just going to quickly run ADW Cleaner. I'm going to run this as administrator. Then run a scan. We'll just let this scan run. Okay, so that's the scan complete. We can check out here the stuff it's found. You can see here it's found quite a lot of stuff. There's some files here. Shortcuts. Some registry keys. And uh, what we're going to do is unknown file there. You can see that in the registry. Could have removed that manually, but this is going to do a, a good job for us. That's going to remove that from the browser there. And we've also got, if I just pull this open, Firefox and Chrome. They have been attacked as well. So we'll clean these up. click OK here okay that's the log file okay that's good so next thing so we've got this uh, don't forget to run debug undo that's okay we're not going to do that just yet so I just want to run JRT now I'm going to run this as administrator also. And that's the log file and that's now complete. Okay, let's take a look at the system now. So we're going to uh, use it here. And the account let's just check out some of these areas you can see there's that folder there with unknown let's try and so that's been ruined so let's get rid of that if we can okay so we want to remove a lot of this stuff here these four folders don't let stuff Go into local here and we can see there's some other junk here. Loads of rubbish here. I'm going to remove all this stuff. We can run C Cleaner at the end, but that will do. So I'm just going to remove this. And a few other bits and pieces. I can see there's a file here for that user. I'm not sure if it's going to let me delete that, but we'll try. Okay, as. I'm going to get rid of that and all. Okay. So let's uh, run uh, Malwarebytes here. Okay, that's a scan now finished, so we're going to remove all these. Needs to reboot, so I'm going to do a quick reboot here. Okay, we're still getting uh, the debug is active, that's fine. So let's have a look at the uh, browser here.
I'm just going to quickly reset this. It's going to put that back to uh, default settings and also the same thing for Firefox. Now, Firefox will be slightly different. And we'll just do uh, Internet Explorer. set all this stuff just going to do that once more I forgot to put the uh, delete everything there that's it let's give Hitman Pro a quick go Okay, so that's a scan now finished. So we're just going to quickly remove those items, as you can see. Just need to activate here. Okay, let's deal with that uh, PC Cleaner Pro now. So we're going to go to the registry here. And uh, we're going to open this up. I'll go with H key local machine and then uh, software then Microsoft and we'll come down to where it says Windows here then current version and then we'll look inside uninstall here and I can see all that lot there so I'm just gonna get rid of that okay there's nothing else left in there so that's good so we're gonna Close this off. I just want to try the user here just to make sure that it's not there as well. So we're just going to quickly check this one out. I can see here PC cleaners. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, let's have a quick look inside here just to make sure I can see something there that's going. Amazon's going. As you can see, there's quite a lot of junk that gets left behind, and it does take a fair bit of time to clean up, but once you get on top of it, once you know what you're doing. You should be pretty much good to go. I mean, all this stuff I know is not meant to be here. Again, this just takes a bit of experience. And that's all looking pretty good. So let's have a look at that there. Let me just get rid of that. One more little location I want to check here. We can run a, a clean up tool afterwards. Um, just want to make sure I get rid of that there. Okay. 
Okay, that's uh, all looking pretty good. So let's check out the uh, uninstall program area. There's still this area here. We need to remove this. I can find that. That's in the uninstall area, and I can remove that. That's not a problem. Um, but the system has come back to me now, so that's good. So let's quickly check our browsers. And as you can see, they all look pretty clean. Try Google. And uh, Firefox. And I think you agree, that's pretty much... Needs a bit more tidying up, run some C cleaner and stuff, but all we need to do now is undo. Going to reboot now, put the system back. Okay, so we're now back at the desktop, as you can see, and debug has done its job. It's now done its undo job where we're back to normal. The system should be back to the way it was before we clicked on that. Now, what debug has done is give me the opportunity to run scans and have some control over the system, whereas before the system was laden with all these programs starting up and popping up, and it, it caused havoc. Now, it didn't stop every single one of them. That's because some of them were using dirty tricks with uh, registry keys and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, it did do a very good job at stopping a good majority of them, which give me the ability to um, run scans, as I said, and uninstall stuff and get the system back into some sort of normality. As you can see here, let's just quickly check the browsers. Uh, everything is back to normal, as you can see here. Everything's cleaned up. We'll quickly check uh, Chrome as well. And also we're going to check Firefox. It's important that you clean all the browsers because they all get embedded with this nasty malicious code and uh, as you can see here the system is back up and running nice and smooth now it does need a bit more spring cleaning maybe with C clean or something like that but the control panel is all nice and clear with uh, uninstaller as you can see all clear and all this has been cleaned up as well so as you can see guys a pretty good job you can always bring these PCs back from the dead as you can see this was laden with nasty junkware and uh, it was pretty straightforward to get this back up and running in a matter of time okay so anyway I want to thank Nick Shaw for giving me the opportunity to make a video on debug it's an awesome little program and also if you want to check it out then head over to his website at foolishit.com and uh, you can download the program from there and have a little play of it also he's got some other products over there that might interest you okay Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this video up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also check out my website at brightechcomputers.co.uk. That will help you uh, see some uh, unseen uh, tutorials, which I'll be posting over there, and I won't be putting them onto YouTube. And also head over to my Facebook fan page and give that a a like if you haven't done that over there already okay so thanks again for your following support guys if you've got any video requests then you can either leave them in the comment section or put them over to my uh, Facebook fan page and post them over there and I'll do my best to make those videos for you so thanks again for the support guys bye for now